Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be an eyebrow routine. I wanted to do a video showing you how I groom them and fill them in. So if you want to find out how I do my eyebrows, then please just keep watching. So I start off by brushing them through with a spoolie. This just makes them easier to manage and makes it easier for me to see what I need to do. I then brush the hairs towards the end of the tail down so I can see where I need to trim them. I then take a small pair of scissors and just trim the hair slightly. I've been doing this myself for a while now but if you don't feel confident doing it I, you can completely skip this step. I keep brushing the hairs down and just keep going back with the scissors taking very small amounts off at a time. Once I've finished the tail of my brow, I then brush the hairs in the middle third of my brow down and just trim them as well. For the front of my eyebrow, I just push the hairs up and if I need to, just push them to the side as well just to make them easier to work with and I just trim them down a little bit. I don't trim all the way down to my actual eyebrow, I just trim off any hairs that I feel are too long. Sometimes I actually find it easier to push the hairs up with the spoolie and then just trim them down. Once I've finished trimming down all the hairs, I then take a pair of tweezers, gently pull my skin and just pull out any hairs. I'm not too worried about getting every single hair because I do also raise in my brows as well. After I finish tweezing my eyebrows, I take a razor and very gently rub it under my eyebrow just to get rid of any of the baby hairs or any hairs that I'd missed when I was tweezing. If you don't feel confident doing this, I wouldn't recommend to do so. I also do this on the side of my eyebrow and above my eyebrow as well. Again, this is just to get rid of any of the little baby hairs. I find that my makeup goes on so much better when I do this. Because I don't like to go too close to my eyebrow with the razor, I'll just take tweezers and just get any hairs that are in awkward places. When I'm doing my other eyebrow, I like to try and make it look as similar as possible to my first. But as you can see with this one, the hairs don't grow as much under the arch. So I have to make sure that I don't trim off too many hairs, otherwise it's harder to fill in to make it look the same as the other. If you do your eyebrows after you've got out the shower or washed your face with warm water it makes it a lot easier as it opens up your pores so when you tweeze them it's a lot less painful.
When I'm finished my eyebrows, I just take a dry cotton pad and just rub over them. I just find it tones down any redness and it also picks up any hairs that fell as I was trimming but got stuck in my eyebrows. So once I'm at the point where I want to fill my eyebrows in, I again brush them through with a spoolie. I like to do this after I've applied foundation as I find that the product sticks to my brows a lot better. In this video I'm going to be using the Freedom Duro Brow Powder, this is in the colour Taupe. It's supposed to be a good dupe for the Anastasia Brow Duos. I'm going to take the lightest colour with a MAC 266 brush. I like to pack on a fair amount of product and tap off any excess. And I first start to fill in on the bottom of the front of my brow. I just like to create the line underneath because I prefer that line to be more defined. To give my brows a natural effect I use very small strokes at a time to mimic the hairs. Once I've finished defining the bottom of my brows, I then take the darkest colour, again packing on the pigment and tapping off any excess, and I start to work on my arch. I like to follow the natural line of my brow, but go slightly further out just to give it a bit of a length. then start mixing both the colours together as I get towards the front of my eyebrow and start using upward strokes as well just to give it more of an ombre effect. I also like to take a spoolie just to make sure that the product is evenly distributed throughout my eyebrow. I have to take a bit more time filling in this eyebrow because of where the hairs don't grow so that it looks as similar as possible to the other one. Some days they look the same, some days they look completely different. It just seems to depend on what kind of day I'm having. If you want me to do a video on more dramatic brows or using different products as well like pencils or pomades then just give this video a thumbs up and I can do that for you. Just to soften up the front of my eyebrows, I just take a fluffy brush, this has just had a bit of powder on it, and I just rub it against the brows. I also just take a brush with no product on it and just push a bit harder, and this just softens them up as well. To set my eyebrows in place, I just use a bit of the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. I don't put this right at the front, I move it across just slightly and just brush it on the rest. Of 
So that's how I fill in my eyebrows and how I groom them and everything like that. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.